joined by Connor Yeager at Athens Sectionals. Connor was the top seed coming out of prelims in the 400 free, pulled out of that with only three weeks to go until uh, get started at World Championships. Connor, first of all, why just in this morning but decided not to come back tonight? Yeah, um, you know, it's kind of something that my coach, Josh White, and I talked about before we even left, right? This was kind of a mm -hmm. plan uh, even before I did a single race here at the meet. It was kind of like, well, I did a 2 IM, did a 2 free, did a 400 free, right? So four twos and a 400. And uh, just thinking that kind of got what we want out of it already. Got a lot of good quality swimming. And uh, just rest up tonight and going back to training tomorrow, right? I'll leave for, leave for, once I get back to Ann Arbor, it'll be pretty much seven days of training before I leave for uh, training camp in Croatia and then on the way to Kazan. So yeah. kind of just uh, didn't want to do a full program here at the meet, but definitely want to come work on some things. And uh, yeah, start getting ready. Start getting ready for the big meet. Yeah, you had a pretty nice 200 free yesterday, 149, and uh, you got some the 200 IM. Why did you just had to swim an off event and Yeah, well, up? you know, actually, I train a lot of IM. Mm -hmm. oh, it's like maybe 50% of my training is IM. Like threshold training, race-based training, a lot of it is IM, even though I almost never competed, right? Like mm -hmm. Charlotte, Santa Clara, didn't know IM. Now, I've never, I haven't done a 200 IM since I was 15 or something. So, uh, and so, yes, my entry time was made up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you know, just to keep it kind of interesting and really try to get something to pay off from all that training that I do and I like it. And uh, I feel good about my fly and my freestyle and I can struggle a little bit in the middle and uh, just try to come home. You were, I think you were fourth at the 150 and then you got everyone except Ryan that last 50. Yeah, yeah that's what I got to try to do. Uh, 200 free yesterday, 149. Is that a good place for you right now? Yeah, uh, I was talking to Josh today on the phone and it was like, you know, pretty much always in the past it's... Uh, if I uh, if I went 149 twice, like normally I go 149 in the morning, and go slower at night. Mm -hmm. So if I do it twice, right in a day, that's like a successful. That's a successful 200 free, really for yeah. me. And like what happened in Santa Clara was like really good, mm -hmm. but that doesn't have to be like that's not the baseline, right? Yeah. So so that was really good 200 free for me uh, for me to do it. And yes, and this morning was a, like a really good prelim swim for me too. I, I don't know, I went 54 in the morning. At Santa Clara, I probably went even slower at, at Charlotte, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, looking ahead to World Championships, you're going to have to swim the 400, 800, 1500. Maybe, yeah. you know, if things fall your way the relay, but not qualify for that, obviously. Right. How, what's the plan going in to try and hold that taper, if it, you call it a taper for distance swimmers over a full yeah. week? Yeah, you know what, I don't even know. You just, you have to believe in, in what you're doing mm -hmm. and that it's going to work. And also, I think, like, you know, racing, that I'll be racing the whole time, mm -hmm. like I'll have day off race, day off race, you know, type of thing like that, helps it go longer. Right. And, uh, you know, I, don't know. I don't like to think of taper as like this one peak, like it's, there's no like one hour where I'm going to be tapered and like, and that's it. And I think it's really just a level of, it's like a level of fitness and kind of a mindset. Like I think that's, that's what taper is. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, you know, everyone does it, right? Everyone at that meet, a lot of people, Ryan, he's swimming different events, but he'll swim the whole, the whole meet and other people. So, uh, you know, it's weird. And uh, even back in 2013, there were trials like a month before. Right. And I, I did two 400s, one 800 and one 1500 at that meet. And I guess a couple 200s too. But then I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to go to Worlds and have to do two 800s, two 1500s. Right, it's like my workload was about to double over the course of mm -hmm. a, a week, same period. And uh, I was stressed out about it then, but it worked out okay. So I just got to believe that it'll be all right. Any specific time goals you have in mind, or are you just more focused on getting to the finals and racing? Yeah. Wh think, which you did a really good job of, obviously, in 2013 when you got that bronze medal in the 400. Right, yeah. So I think just focusing on, you know, not, not being afraid to be aggressive in the morning. You have to make the final, right? Don't want to miss right. out on any final spot. So. Make the final and, and right, give it a race tonight. Best shot at a medal of the three? Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, really, I think I'm, I'm probably even even across the board mm -hmm. in those three events, and uh, the you know the rest of the world is too. So, uh, pretty pretty. I, I would say even even shot at all probably. Any any times that you have in mind that you like to hit? You know, being a year out from the Olympics. Uh, yeah. So. No. No. Um, and how about that relay? Have you heard anything about whether you might be on it or not? No, and you know what? Those guys are in those spots last year, and I think it'd be, uh, you know, there's nothing to say that I, that I should even be 
look at, right? Those right. guys are swimming across the world, or they're about to be, and uh, you know, I, I think I think they're on the real. You know, they made those spots ready. So um, if they need me, I'm not going to turn it down. I'll say that. But uh, until then, I, I'll assume I'm that I'm not on it. Yeah. Last summer, obviously, pretty big race for you, Pampax, when you beat Con uh, Ryan Cochran, yeah. who's um. You know, been pretty successful over the 1500 for a pretty long period of time. Yeah. Has that race sort of changed your approach? Being able to does it help your confidence build up this year? Oh, after that, um, mm -hmm. well, I don't know because that was such like a slow race for all of us, I think. Right. And uh, like I, I had some good racing at the end there, but I know it's going to be totally different. Um, the Italian guy is going to be, you know, he's going to be so good and soon, obviously. So different field and. Uh, yeah, it gives me a little, I guess it gives me a little bit of confidence. I, mean, I feel good about my swims at Charlotte and Santa Clara. And just kind of swam. I've approached those races differently, and uh, feeling good about that. And one last question: what, what brings you guys down to Athens? A little, little far to come for you know just the tune-up meet. Yeah, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it was just the the weekend that worked the best for everybody, and it was indoors, or you know, so there's going to be better competition here than a different section of meet probably so mm -hmm. and there was right so yeah sure was. so yeah i mean it's good yeah i like athens yeah it's a cool place and, and a pretty pretty fun meet pretty fast meet connor yeah. thanks for your time and uh good luck at world championships cool thanks hey. man